What's up guys? So right now I have my dad's truck and it's basically been neglected for a little while. Um, what I mean by that is it needs an oil change. It needs one of the blinkers replaced. Uh, basically just the whole truck needs to be cleaned. And uh, on top of that, I'm also going to be putting some tow mirrors on it. So his truck it is a 2015 Ram 1500. Um, as you see, it's a white truck but it's not been washed for a while. So as you can see, she's needing, you know, a good clean. Even the uh, the back glass that should be black is brown. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to JW's. We're gonna get the truck washed. We're gonna get the oil changed here at my house now. I'm gonna go ahead and get the driver's side blanket replaced. And uh, Go from there and then we're going to get these mirrors off and get some tow mirrors put on so i'm going to show you how to do that get the oil changed get the blinker replaced and go from there now that we're under the truck we're going to go get the oil changed you need a 13 millimeter socket and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and break this loose And then we're gonna go ahead and set our ratchet down. I like to loosen this up with my hand, that way I don't drop it into the pan. And now while we're waiting for the oil to drain and before I take the filter off, I'm gonna go ahead and take his headlight out and we're gonna get that blinker bulb replaced. If you want to know how to take the headlight housing out, I do have a previous video on how to replace your headlights with Morimoto housings. So I'm going to put that video in the description and I'll let you link back to that. I'll put the time in there as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the, the headlight out now, get that bulb replaced. All right, so now that we've got the headlight removed, we're going to replace the blinker bulb, which is right there. It is the 3157 NA. Um, I just bought these from O'Reilly's, but what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to take the bulb out, twist it counterclockwise. There's our bulb. And not really sure if we can see it, but she's a bad one. Um, she doesn't really look bad, but uh, we'll just go ahead and get it replaced. Good as new. All right, now the all the oil has drained. We're gonna just uh, wipe it off. Go ahead and get our drain bolt put back in there. Give it a little snug. It doesn't have to be tight. Give it just a little tightening on there. Don't want to damage anything. Now that you've got it all tightened up, clean it off. That way you can check for leaks later. All good. Now let's get the oil filter off. You're going to come up to the front of the truck a little bit. And if you see, right there is the oil filter. So you're going to look through your steering box and right above that is going to be your oil filter. So we're gonna get that off. All right, now that you've got the oil filter out and the, fil the fluid has been drained, take your new filter, rub some oil around the O-ring on there, and go ahead and put it back in place. And then once you get it tight, you just want to hand tighten. You don't want to tighten it too crazy. 
seems pretty good to me. So what we're gonna do now, we'll grab our rag, come up here, kind of clean it off, and just tighten it down just a little bit more. And that's about all we need. And then just wipe everything off. Now we go up to the top, remove our Now we're finishing it all off. Couldn't find a funnel, so I just cut a bottle in half, but uh, cleared all the water out of it. And so now we are using it. The truck takes seven quarts of oil. All right, so our blinker is working perfectly. So now what we wanna do is we wanna come over here and we want to check the oil. So everything looks good there. Blinker is working. Oil's been changed, so now let's head over to JW's, get the tow mirrors installed, and get this truck washed. So right now we're on the way to JW's house to basically wash them. Here we are. Now let's get this thing all cleaned up. We made it to JW's house. We gotta go get gas for the power washer. And uh, then we gotta take some stuff to Merck's house. But I wanna see what he thinks of how bad this truck has been, I'd say, oh neglected. Yeah. Has, does he ever wash this truck? It's supposed to be white. Yeah, it's supposed to be. It's like cream color. <laughs> so we're gonna get everything finished up. We gotta go get gas, like I said, for the pressure washer. We're gonna come back. We're gonna put the tow mirrors on, detail the truck, and uh, hopefully, Get this chrome wheel back to chrome. Yeah, because that's uh, like black chrome right now. Yeah, it's um, it's a special special edition right now. But we're gonna get everything taken care of and hopefully cleaned up because this needs the transformation. All right, so the original plan was to go get gas for the pressure washer, but instead it's raining. So, uh, all right, so I guess we don't have to get gas. We're saving money. On saving water. money on gas and water and and everything. Um, on so I can see, but uh, I don't think we're, it's coming down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this truck's going to be pretty clean after the, after it's done. Um, I guess, I guess we'll do some, uh, tow mirrors later, but, uh, Hey, I got a free wash now. I guess we don't have to detail it or anything. So, uh, yeah. So I guess we'll just have to detail it later or maybe the rain will pass, but I don't know. That's a pretty big cloud. But if you look behind us, it's all nice and pretty and blue and it's all gloom and nasty over here. Rain's coming in sideways. Let's see if we can see that. I bet Rain's my, coming in sideways. I bet my house, <clears throat> I bet my house didn't get a single drop of water. Probably not because it was still sunny when we passed his driveway. <laughs> look at that. It's still sunny in his house. That's how it always is. So. Because I used to play soccer at Patriots over there. Yeah. It would be raining at practice and then we come home expecting rain. Dry. Well, I guess if anything, we won't have to spray the truck off first. All the dirt and debris is kind of cleaned off of it, so we can go ahead and foam it down and clean it. <laughs> well, we made it back uh, through the rainstorm. It does look like it's gonna start raining on us again. Um, so what we're gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to go ahead and do the tow mirrors really quick, and then we'll have to wash this afterwards and detail it. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to get the tow mirrors installed. Um, if you actually refer back to my video about how to replace the door speakers, it's actually pretty simple. Um, there's these little screw brackets on the side. So you take those out with a Torx bit, all the way around the door. Take this off. There's a little panel there. You take that out, take the screw out behind that. And then basically the door panel will lift up, unplug that, and then you've got the door panel taken off. And then you can go ahead and get the removal of this, uh, the mirrors done. All right, so now that we've got the door panel off, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these three bolts loose. Then we're gonna go down this little wire here it is taped here, 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna untape it so we can retain that clip. Go down here, and then if you'll notice, right there is a little black connection. I'm gonna take this off. Right there, it went right there. And that's literally for the mirror. So now we'll go ahead and get this untaped, get this taken off, and go ahead and try to get the new one installed. Also a clip that I kind of forgot about, but there's a clip there. Don't forget the clip. All right, so taking a look at these tow mirrors, they are from eBay. Um, does have a light that shines down on the ground. Looks pretty good there. It's got our third blinker, and uh, they actually look pretty good for eBay tow mirrors. So we'll go ahead and get these put in. So the hardware they give you is actually kind of crappy. So you've got the stock one that's got a big washer on the back and you've got this eBay one that's got basically no room and everything. And so it looks like it's gonna get pulled through putting it on over here. So I'm actually gonna just put the stock hardware back on there because it's got that extra washer and these tow mirrors are actually pretty heavy. So now we've got the tow mirror installed. I took the clip off the old mirrors so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it just find a place where it's supposed to go so about right there all right and then down here at the connectors we've got the black and the white connector so we're gonna go ahead and plug the black connector back up and then the white connector goes in at the bottom And that's it. Those already look so much better. Now what we can do is we come over here. We go full moose mode. So we got little and big. That looks so good. So it is starting to rain pretty bad. So I don't think we're gonna get to detail it today, but we did get the tow mirrors installed and I think they look incredible, especially from the fact that he had these little tiny mirrors. And so it kind of just makes the truck just thicker looking. And so um, once I get home, I'll uh, let y'all see what he thinks and uh, maybe we can get him to flip out and go full moose mode. Well, when my dad comes back and watches this video later, now I can officially say I'm washing the truck, but I'm washing it, you know, in spirit. See, look, we're washing the truck, getting it some love in there, getting it some rub on the top. But uh, don't think we're going to get to use the pressure washer. We're just going to have to let it rain wash for the time being. And, uh, you know, either way, we got the mirrors on. That's the main thing. And uh, he'll be excited about that. But really wish that rain had gone away. Like that. All right, so giving the truck back to my dad. Um, we've got his mirrors put on. What do you think? It's awesome. Yeah? Yeah, I like them. Go ahead and flip it out. They're a little bit bigger than the others, but that's going to be a, that makes a world of difference. 
So yeah. we'll have to test them out one day when we go pull the camper. But I didn't get to clean the truck only because it started pouring down rain. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Nice. It, it got rained on and it got clean. The back mirror <laughs> or the back window. That sits out a lot. So clean. Different. When you put it up like that, it really makes a difference. Yeah. So the next trip will be to take it to the dealership to to get the light here, the blinker turned on, and the little light down the bottom. Hopefully so.